While the third season might be over, winter is still coming, so here is a little Game of Thrones inspired dessert to honor the series just in time for Comic Con. Now, while some of us may never recover from the Red Wedding, ah! It certainly kept us all on the edge of our seats. So we've created a dire wolf wedding cake to memorialize Rob and the ill-fated Starks. First, start by making cake pops. So check out my video below to learn how to make cake pops. They're really simple. It's just baked cake with frosting and then it kind of creates this cake dough texture. So I already have a little bit of that here. So I'm just gonna get a little bit and roll it into a ball. But we want to make these into wolves, so I'm going to kind of shape it into a wolf's head. Put it flat and kind of form the nose of the wolf. This is what we want to achieve. This is the snout and then the ears. So I'm just going to use some melted chocolate and some little morsels. And we actually found these little morsels that have little swirls on them, which is great because it creates the texture of the little ears. Dip it in there, glue it on. And then we have mini Rolos and then mini peanut butter cups. So this is gonna create the nose. So kind of push it against there and see how you want it to kind of line up. And then just glue it on with the chocolate. Okay, so I have two others that I made earlier right here. I'm just gonna add this. And then I'm just gonna pop it into the fridge and allow it to set. This is the fun part, creating the dire wolf and giving him some personality. So I'm gonna get just a lollipop stick and dip it into some melted chocolate and just press it into the direwolf head. Just set it aside and let it harden. Okay, so this one has already hardened, it's nice and stable. So I'm gonna use a paintbrush to brush on this peanut butter chocolate. We're creating the texture of the fur, so you really can have fun with it and just kinda let the brush do all the work. Look at this wolf, so cute, right? Nice and furry and cute. So I also melted a little bit of white chocolate with this peanut butter. So I'm actually gonna use the lighter colored chocolate to create a little variation, highlight his cheeks, around his eyebrows. But same thing, I'm just gonna brush it on. This is where it really comes alive. Okay, and now I'm just gonna let this harden over here. And a great tip is to use some styrofoam to keep your cake pops upright. It's a lifesaver. Okay, so this one's already been hardening, so it's ready to go. So I put a little bit of black icing into a piping bag. I'm just gonna draw a little bit of an eyebrow. The shape of an almond, because I'm gonna put the eye inside of it. And while this is still wet, I actually have these cute little beads that I got. They're little edible pearls, and they're this really cool gunmetal color. So I'm just gonna pop them in there. See, now he has eyes. I'm just gonna add some definition to the ears and his nose so try to do a little upside down triangle for that then I'm just gonna draw his mouth so I have these little sesame seeds I'm gonna use them as little fangs and then the other one check out the wolf pack they're different colors they're all unique have their own little personalities and different flavors too now I had to make my favorite character Jon Snow's direwolf ghost this one's made with vanilla cake and white chocolate. So cute. And then, because it's the Red Wedding, Rob Stark's direwolf, Grey Wind. Aw, RIP little guy. Okay, so this is the Red Wedding. So I had to get a wedding cake. I got these two cakes from my local grocery store for less than 20 bucks, but you can make it at home if you want it. That's a whole nother video. And blood, because it's the Red Wedding. So I made some edible strawberry blood. It's three parts strawberry syrup, one part chocolate syrup to really give it that nice deep red hue, and a couple of tablespoons of cornstarch to thicken it. So start in the middle and let it just fall all over the white cake. This is creepy, because it looks like real blood. There we go. So then we're just gonna decorate with the dire wolf cake pops. Just press them in every which way. This makes me want to watch all three seasons one more time. There we go. Now this is a cake the North will always remember. Thanks so much for watching Just Add Sugar. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and subscribe to Pop Sugar Girl's Guide. I'm Brandy, and I'll see you next time.